deals and business. Hmm. I can do copper. I can do that. And more. For a low, low price of some Batania flowers. Because <laughs> that's what I want to start doing this episode. Batania. Uh, because that sounds like a lot of fun, let's be honest. Now, who the heck did that? You disgust me, whoever did that. Savages play on this server. Well, that's how you know you're getting close to Fifi's area. You can see everything glowing in the distance. Oh, a waystone, huh? Oh, I'm not that fancy. <laughs> Oh, Adelaide's. This place is cool. A goose plushie. Hello, wizard. Hello, wizard. <laughs> 16 copper. <gasps> Flowers. Yes. Yes. Pumpkin! Yes! <laughs> Ooh, there's a full enchanting setup over- What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is- I will look at enchanting another time, that confuses me. All right, the, f the flowers I were given are helpful, but I do need some more. So I'm gonna spend some time picking my own, but hopefully we can just get into Batania right quick, soonish, hopefully. All right, so we got quests. Uh, Floromancy, the art of botany, holds powers in the in this world owing to a special breed of flowers coming in 16 colors, whose petals are turned into mystic energy sleeping in the earth. With them, an experienced botanist can reshape that, that energy into new flowers and devices to aid them in the myriad of tasks, from the production of resources to special tools and equipment. To begin on this floral path, you'll need to find some of these flowers, they can be in patches randomly around the world and in grassy air. Oh. Lock your doors. <laughs> I don't think we can sleep through this. Uh... <laughs> Okay, where were we? Uh, okay. So, I've got any flower of any kind. Um, rewards. Claim my rewards. I get a Lexica Patania and a flower patch. Pouch. That's cute. Oh, I can just keep flower- <gasps> That's massive! That's massive! That doesn't leave the inventory. I'm keeping that on me forever. Okay, so... The Petal Apothecary. Your first task in, the, in a botanist journey. Uh, is also the most essential. Plucking the petals off of one of your flowers and using its connection to the earth to imbue a stone basin with the ability to make new magical flowers. Uh, the petal apothecary must be filled with water in order to work. Then simply drop the required combination of petals and other ingredients. Uh, try making a, f a flower of four white petals. Cool, so I need to make a petal apothecary and a flower daisy. Um, I might do that in the morning. It's scary out. Okay, so the Petal Apothecary. Here we go. Got that. Let's put this thing... Uh, where's my bucket? Give me my bucket. Let's put this thing just here for now, I guess. Whoops. Now it's set to put white flowers? Four white... I don't have... I don't have... I don't have those. So I just found a tower in the middle of the 
the ju the jungle Do is someone living here what is the the stuff in here is absurd is this someone's house this is someone's house oh oh my god <laughs> I just broke into Sarah's tower. <laughs> now that's a sad looking tower. Looks like someone blew it up already. Green, ooh, honeycomb. You know, I could take like all of that, honestly. What is that, a pine plank? More loot, more bread, more food, a loom. What was this, like a... Like a, uh, uh, I'm really struggling for words today. Yep. There's a mushroom. Show me the mushroom. I must see the mushroom. Where is he? We're going to the Nether because I, I want to see this. I think it's still in the Nether. Oh my god. It 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 is yellow here, jeez. Yeah, this place is this place is crazy. But I wanna I wanna see it. I wanna see him. Show me, where is it? Oh yo. Do you get withered for Oh, you do. <laughs> How long does that last? That's that's great. <laughs> All right, I got a, I got a few of these suckers. Let's turn them into that. Now do I I, I give it seed? Oh, pure daisy. Which means this one's complete. Cool. Uh, a garden of rainbow. What is this one? Having all 16 varieties of magical flowers at your disposal is a must if you wish to get anywhere in your exploration of botany. Uh, some colors are more than you. Uh, more efficiently if you have studied the art of gemstones. Huh? Uh, progress further. You can make the... How do I make... Oh, hang on. I think I actually have all of the different colors are just in the bag. Dang it. There's a red one. Let me take it out of the bag because I don't think it'll count unless I take it out of the bag. Woo. A lycra. Oh, no, no, no. Let me, just give me the lycra. Just give me the lycra. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. If I already had enough trouble, I've already Okay, let's see. I've got all of that. What do I get? Oh, I get some fertilizer. Okay. So wait, hang on. How do I make... What was that called? The... An amber... Something? Nope. What was that called? I just did the quest and I didn't even... Uh... How do I make... Oh. Purple. Root. Okay, we'll come back to that then. That seems complicated. A pure daisy has the ability to make certain blocks around it livelier, purifying them into something new. The transformation of mundane wood and rock into their living variant is just one application of this flower, albeit the most crucial. The daisy can affect eight blocks directly next to it with its purifying essence. The, the process usually takes a minute. It can, however, be quickened by using overgrowth seeds to enchant the soil it is planted upon. Assuming you have eight log, eight rock. Okay, I I know a little bit about Batania, so like this I understand. We just need. And it's a good thing I got a lot of wood to uh, just plant the wood around like that, and then you can see like all these little particles going and whatnot and they're all having a good time and then in a minute according to the book anyways 
uh, it'll turn into living wood, and then that's kind of where my knowledge of Batania fades. I can make living wood and living rock, but anything beyond that, I don't really know what I'm doing at all. Because this isn't really a mod I've dabbled with too much. Any second now. Come on. Any second now. Come on. Any second now. You're gonna turn to living wood and you're gonna like it. I don't wanna wait. I want you to turn now. Oh, oh, hey, some, oh, it's done. So there's, I don't have the inventory space for that. There's the living wood. So then I think we can just put cobblestone around the side and that works for stone or does it have to be like smooth stone? We'll find out, I guess. All right, I think it needs to be a smooth stone, not cobblestone, but that's fine. We can cook that up real quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And while that's cooking, why don't we change into something a bit more fitting? Ah, much better. I think this will fit our needs for what we're doing right now, at least. All right, stone. Turn into that living garbo. I'm watching you. The stone is alive. It's the living stone rock. Woo! Yay! I, I, yay. Uh, okay, where were we? Tania, that is done. We got all that. Oh, we got more. Cool. Whoops, I didn't mean to close that. I want to see what the next step is. The basics of mana. Oh god, this is a lot of reading. Uh, with the base resources secured, you can begin working with mana. The natural energy of the earth these flowers are tied to. From living rock, you can carve a pool to store mana from the living wood and apparatus to spread it from place to place. Together, these form the basics of mana-related infrastructure. You'll also need a wand to bind things together. Uh, but storing and transferring mana is rather pointless without a way to obtain it. Uh, to that end, you must again turn to the Petal Apothecary and make one of two generating flora, end of flame, endo flames, and hydroanges. The hydro flower is straightforward. It drinks water. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Flower, it decays within three days of being placed. Interesting. The endo flame uh, is slightly more involved, but never decays. So, okay, what do we need to do? Uh, okay, so we just need to make a flower, a wand, a pool, and a spreader. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard, I hope. What do I need for a wand? Uh, living wood twigs. Where did I put my living wood? Where did I put it? Well, living wood twigs are kind of expensive. How many do I, do I need two or do I need three? I need three, Jesus. Uh, let's see, I'll take an orange flower because that's what I have the most of. Turn those into petals. Uh, okay, I got a wand of the forest. Now I need a, po a pool, a mana pool. That's easy, I can just do that. Uh, an endo flame. Endo flame? Endo flame. Uh, okay, so I need light gray, red, brown, brown. And what's the other thing I needed? Uh, mana spreader. Spread. Copper, and then just any. Any petal? Okay, I can do any petal. Uh, let's do more orange, because that's still what I have the most of. Uh, can I just make it? And oh, I don't have... Where did I... There we are. Copper. Let's make that mana spreader. Mana spreader. Okay. Then uh, I need... I only got one brown flower, though. Oh, no. Does it have to be brown for... The um, endo flame. Can it be 
Brown. It's got to be brown, red, and light gray. Okay, I might look for some more brown flowers then. The heck is that? The heck is this? What are what are what are this? There's no portal here. What? I might have to resort to theft to get some, uh, some more brown flowers. But who knows? Maybe no one has any. I don't know. But it's time to go become a little thief boy. All right, brown petals plus a seed I don't have equals... Endo flame. Now look at that. So if I just put the endo flame there and say give it nothing I have is really flammable. Uh I can change that if we give it some good old fashioned ligma. It's working. It's working! Alright, let's get the rewards. What is this? I have a monocle. Does that do any? It's just cosmetic, okay. <laughs> How much do we got in there? Not a lot, but the spreader will spread it as soon as it gets more, which is good. And I do think with that, we're gonna harvest as much as we can. And we're gonna wrap the episode up here. So if you enjoyed and you want to see some more All of Fabric 7, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload or go live. But my name has been Freebie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.